the Brown Hotel in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Rob Zip and I'm back in Louisville and I am finally going to the Brown Hotel to have their world famous hot brown. It's an open, open face sandwich. I'm not really a big fan of that, but this one sounds so delicious. It's a toast on the bottom with some turkey breast, some tomatoes and bacon and they cover it in Mornay sauce. It's like a cheese white wine sauce. And they put some Parmesan on top and they put it under the salamander and brown it all up. And that's what makes it the hot brown. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the petite version or the full version. And if I get anything else, I'll let you know. But man, this place is fancy, but the casual dress code is allowed. So I'm all good. Come along and join me and watch Rob eat. <sighs> it's got their own clock out here. A little bit early. I have a 6.45 reservation. But that's okay. It's a reservation for one. Celebrating 100 years at the Brown Hotel. So you do have to uh, go up the stairs to get to the lobby. Bar and Grill, I think is what it's called. Here, a guy playing Aerosmith on the piano. Look right here. Look how fancy this place is. It's even horses. I did get an actual table. I'm not sitting at the bar, which I thought it would be. Here is the menu shot. So they're famous for the hot brown. It's 30 bucks, 20 bucks for the petite. So I'm gonna go with the petite. I saw the full size one, it looks pretty big, but roasted turkey breast, toast points, so it's just toasted corners, Mornay sauce, pecorino romano cheese, baked golden brown, finished with bacon and tomatoes. That's it right there. This is a fancy place, guys. At least I'm not wearing my hat. I decided to wear my uh, hair appropriately, but wow, this guy's over here. Like, he's playing Guns N' Roses, it sounds like. He's a metal pianist, or a hard rock pianist. It's cool. Look at this. See this empty seat across from me? That is not an empty seat. That is where you and my other 7,623 subscribers are sitting. So thanks again for joining me on this episode of The Most Epic Adventures and watching Robbie. This is, this is such a nice place. The server seems really nice and friendly. I'm, uh, why have I not come here yet in all my times here in Louisville? I guarantee you that this food's gonna be delicious. I got the petite hot brown. The uh, morning sauce doesn't have alcohol. I mean, I wasn't. I didn't mind. It's uh, cheese and cream and flour is what the morning sauce is. But I got the petite version with a side of fries and there's smoked ketchup. So I dip the fries in the morning sauce as well. Dip it in the ketchup. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so excited. You, you got to keep watching to see what this looks like. I keep talking about this hot brown. I had a hot brown at a pub. It wasn't great. So I wanted to come here to where they invented it almost 100 years ago and have the real deal. All right, guys, here is, this is the petite version. This is plenty big enough. And I'm on the side of fries. Oh, I need the ketchup. I need ketchup. Where's the ketchup? All right. First, look how hot that is. It 
is a wonderful world when you can fly over and eat delicious food like this. All right, here is the dessert menu. Maple cream brulee, chocolate street cheese, and derby pie. I gotta go with the derby pie. Should I make it all? No, I'm not going out on my own. The derby pie. Walnut and chocolate chip pie. This is the derby pie. It's just walnuts. And got some fruit with some cream. I'm gonna pay $2 extra for ice cream, but I said no. This looks good enough as it is. They gave me a spoon to eat this with. It tastes like chocolate chip and walnuts. Put a little bit of whipped cream on here. You know, I'm thinking maybe the olive mode is the way to go. It is warm. This is a um, Louisville tradition. It's a derby pie for the Kentucky Derby. I'm not sure if the Brown Hotel invented it or if it is more famous somewhere else. I like it though. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's got like a double crust, like a crust on top and a crust on the bottom. Kind of like a double cookie almost. But a nice uh, capper to the rest of my meal. All right, you gotta show you the total, just so you'll know. This is the total for a fancy restaurant all by myself. This is not bad at all for a, a dish, a side, and a dessert. Come on, you do have to make reservations. So give them a call or go on open table. Totally worth it, guys. Sit in one of these cool lobby chairs here in the Brown Hotel. Guys, if you're in Louisville, Kentucky, and you don't come to the Brown Hotel to get the hot brown, you're really missing out. Now, the full-size one is huge, so it's really good for two people to share, and it's more economical that way. But if you're just by yourself like me, uh, get the petite version for sure. Um, the fries were a little salty, the smoked ketchup, it just tastes a lot of ketchup, honestly. Um, and the derby pie, it was good, but it was a little dry. So I can see why they recommended having a la mode. But I order that again. I don't know, would I come to the Brown Hotel and eat again? Absolutely. This place is, it's lovely. The prices are reasonable for the atmosphere. The service was fantastic. I, I can't say anything better. Um, if you're in Louisville, Kentucky, come to the hot, come to the brown. Get a hot brown if you never had one. If you had one somewhere else, I guarantee you it wasn't as good as here. Um, this is the original place and it's the best. So Louisville's known for the hot brown and the hot brown is home from the Brown Hotel. So with that being said, thanks again for watching. Remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature and have the most epic adventures. <laughs>